Okay, so Sonia had a question about the domain and range of this function. She identified the domain as um, x can equal any value other than 6 because, uh, sorry, negative 6 because when we plug in negative 6 in the denominator, we're going to get, or when we plug in negative 6 for x, we're going to get negative 6 minus 4, which is negative 10, over negative 6 plus 6 is 0 and negative 10 divided by 0, well, any number divided by 0 is undefined. So that's not part of the domain. Okay, um, now she's having a bit of trouble with the range, and this is one of those tricky ones. Okay, so the rule for same power um, x values on the numerator and denominator is this. When we have something like this, where this is to the first power, and this is to the first power, okay, and the coefficient is 1, even though we don't write 1 times x to the first power, that's really what it is, is 1 times x to the first power, okay, and that's minus 4, and this is plus 6. Now, as x get gets really 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 big okay it's going to get closer and closer to 1 this value right here is going to get or the y value is going to get closer and closer to 1 but it's never really going to reach 1 it's always going to be that tiny little bit shy of 1 okay and give you an example for example, let's plug in a million for x. Okay, we're going to get 1 million minus 4 over 1 million plus 6. Oh, that's 999,996 over 1 million and 6. Now this is approximately 1. It's really 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 close to 1 but does not equal 1. Okay, It's really close to 1 but it does not equal 1. Now similarly if x approached a negative number for example if we went towards negative infinity I'll use negative 1 million for example okay negative 1 million minus 4 over negative 1 million plus 6 okay this equals negative 1 million and 4 over negative nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety four your negatives cancel out okay now this is really close to one but it does not equal one okay in fact I'm going to try to plug these numbers into the calculator okay nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety six divided by one million and four notice it's really close to one but it's just shy of one and we'll try this one as well okay negative one million and four divided by negative nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety four Again, it's really close to 1, but it'll never get to 1. Now, how we figure these out is whenever we have y equals a x to the c minus some constant over b x to the c minus another constant okay as long as these powers are the same the rule is range will always be 
a over b. Okay, and the reason is because when x approaches a really big number, like really big huge number, okay? Sorry, let me repeat that. The range will not equal a over b. The range will equal every value other than a over b. Okay? Now, as I was saying before, when x approaches a really 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 huge number, okay? This k and this h won't matter. The only things that will matter is the a and the b. For example, if I have y equals 2x to the fifth power minus 100 over 3x to the fifth power minus 700. Now my range is going to be y okay and I'm not going to use this notation, I'm going to use this y equals any number from negative infinity to 2 over 3 and 2 over 3 to infinity okay now let's do some examples for example if I choose my x value to be again let's choose Let's choose a smaller x value this time. Let's choose like let's choose like a hundred. Okay, so it's two times. Actually, let's choose let's choose thirty, forty. Two times forty to the fifth power minus one hundred over three times forty to the fifth power minus 700. Okay, let's see what this equals. First of all, let's do 2 over 3, see what that equals. Okay, now let's do 2 times 40 to the fifth power divided by, hold on, I got to put my the fifth power minus 100 divided by three times 40 to the fifth power minus 700 okay now that's really close to two-thirds but not quite okay and as x gets bigger or smaller it's gonna approach it's gonna be almost two over three but it'll never reach two over three okay that's because the reason why these determine the number that it gets really close to is because when x is really big when your x is really big these numbers won't matter that much but they will matter enough to where your range will never reach this number 2 over 3 okay I, have, I hope this helps out and um, Sonia do me a favor um, try not to message me around 10 o'clock because I'm not the sharpest at 10 o'clock but um, if you do get to me sooner, maybe like 9-ish, maybe not, maybe like 8-ish, then I'll be able to help you out much better. <coughs> also, um, I hope this helps out anyone else watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.